You don't meet a lot of brewers well, who keep smelling the bat. Right? Losing call. and gaining. Losing and gaining. I've yeah. completely lost sensitivity to the potency of any THC product. It doesn't matter if it's a small dose or a large dose, it's the same exact effect for me across the board. It's just you know, it kills some nausea, removes anxiety, but that's nothing will ever change across that. Wow. But the terpene effect, the, the first 30 to 30 seconds to five minutes of ingesting any new cannabis product, that I, I notice differently. And it, it becomes more intense over time. So, what, what really? Resonate your effect or cannabinoids. Effect. barely do anything. They the cannabinoids are uh, an engine. They're a car. They're a vehicle. But without a driver to dictate what that vehicle does, it's meaningless. It's a worthless piece of an inanimate object. So when the THC hits a receptor along with a specific variety of cannabinoids, you end up with the varied effect because they, they sort of pile on each other in the receptors or they all agonize or antagonize um, coefficient receptors. So receptors means immune receptors, right? Uh, neuroreceptors. Neuroreceptors. You know, the same things that except hormones and all sorts of things. Uh, serotonin, dopamine. So it's basically acting on hormonal. Yeah, or your endocrine system, and specifically, it's the endocannabinoid system. Um, I'm still shy. So this is what we refer to as the entourage effect. Uh, if I were to have you inhale that pure THC, you would notice uh, some sedation, maybe a racy mind, uh, and probably a slight increase in appetite, very generic symptoms of imbibing THC. Um, now, if I started to add myrcene into that, that sedation would multiply. You'd become far more sedated. If I were to add more caryophylline to it, the racing would increase. If I were to add a little more CBG to it, your mental clarity would increase. You'd be, you'd be less bogged down by the psychoactivity of it and you'd, you'd feel more creative. Um, and it's always acting with another thing. So you kind of, the more pure you get in terms of the raw chemical, the, the worse of an effect it is, the, the less well, effective it is. So I understand that different composition will create different functional effects, right? Yes, medicinal, recreational effects. So basically you could produce specific, specific uh, composition, right? And you could play with composition or not. Right. You could, you could alter the formulations. You could seek out plants that do certain things. Um, obviously, the, the hemp industry has gone really heavy into conversions. But we've seen just as many strains produce these kind of novelty compounds like THCV and uh, uh, Delta 10 and Delta 8 even. We've seen in small amounts um, in, in actual biomass. Um, but yeah, you could absolutely modulate your effect. There's definitely companies out there doing that with even their edible products. Um, we were just listening to, uh, I think it was Blue River. They were talking about the modulation effect um, of adding a little bit of CBN uh, to a product to make it so that it is continuously effective for pain. Whereas THC, you're more likely to build up a tolerance to it, I guess. But that's not what you are going to do. You're planning to develop natural products. I like to keep it whole. Right? I, I believe so that the keeping whole it's probably the best. Yeah, if you keep and keep it the way it is, or subtracting, it's always make it like a little bit artificial, right? If you keep hunting, you'll find a strain that will do what you want. If you keep looking, um, just over the past four or five years, we've um, gotten to the point where we have commercial chemotypes, which I think is the coolest thing ever. When it started out in the CBD industry, that was the biggest deviation from THC biomass was, oh, well, we can make hemp that's not rope. We can make hemp that's flowers that creates really notable trichomes are filled with terpenes and it, it's all CBD in there. There's a trace amount of THC. Um, but from that, we've got CBDVA biomass, CBGA biomass, and I can only imagine what else is kind of in the woodwork coming out right now. Um, 
So if you keep looking, you will find the biomass that does what you want. We found uh, some really interesting stuff in the early days of hemp um, where general commercial strains like cherry wine would have random phenotypes that created like 7% THCVA um, versus the THCA. And it's just an entirely different compound than the THCA. Um, and you won't, you won't find it very often. Most people are, are creating this real chemical effect, mm -hmm. uh, conversion effect. So if you keep looking, you will find the modulation effect you're looking for already existing naturally in one whole plant. So in terms of sales strategy, are you selling specific products for specific purposes? No, because you can't, you can't do that. You can't advertise uh, medical effect here.